Hey, hey, what is up, everybody? Um, it has been a very long time since I posted any videos. Um, I've been pretty darn sick the last three to four months, um, even when I was still making videos. So um, that's kind of why you guys haven't seen me. I apologize, but, I mean, when it comes to stuff like this, your health is a lot more important than, uh, than some hobby. Um, this has been on, you know, the last thing on my mind. Well, I, I, I shouldn't say this hobby has been the last thing on my mind, but it definitely has been last, very dead last, at the very bottom of the priority list for things uh, things I got going on. So this is actually my stuff after the last race sometime in September. I haven't even touched it. The only thing I have done is brought this stuff into the house. Um, I need to basically start over again. Um, I want to get a new radio. I need two servos. Um, they kind of conked out on me. I'm going to need two, at least two battery packs, <clears throat> um, receiver packs, because those have been plugged in f since September. I don't even trust them anymore. I'm just going to um, discharge them the best I can or whatever and uh, send them out to be recycled or, or whatever it is. Uh, yeah, I need, I need a lot of stuff. Um, I've been dealing with some funky uh, viral or bacteria infection and uh, it's literally all over my face and it, it kind of shut my immune system down and over the last three months I have had probably five or six colds, very, excuse me, very bad colds, uh, the flu, uh, just because like I said my immune system didn't know what to do with this virus that was in my system and uh, I've been pumped up on antibiotics, antiviral medications, steroid, oral steroids, uh, steroid shots at the doctor. <coughs> um, it's just been hell the last three months, so I do apologize to all my subscribers. I'm not looking for any sympathy or anything like that. I just want to let you guys know what was going on. Um, I, I caught wind from uh, Sexy Micization, I think is what his name is. I talked to him last night on... Um, uh, through email, and I still got to ship him out his body he won. I do greatly apologize for that. Um, you know, I know he's not worried about the body. I, I had a pretty good discussion with him, and I told you guys, or told him that I would let you guys know what's going on with me. Um, I will do a face reveal for you guys after all this crap on my face clears up. Right now I look like a complete monster, and I just don't, I don't want anybody to see that. Uh... You know, I'm doing fine now. Everything should be cleared up. Um, I've been in and out of work for the last three months. Uh, just pretty sick. I go back to work Monday, hopefully, after I get cleared from the doctor. Um, so I, I am doing a lot better now. Uh, like I said, I, I just want to apologize to everybody. And uh, I haven't uh, haven't given up. As you can see, my car is underneath the truggy. Um, everything looks like hell right now because I haven't done a damn thing. Like I said, I need servos. I blew out a servo in the buggy uh, during a race, and uh, that just killed my last race for me. But I, even when I was racing, my uh, fellow racer friends didn't even know what was going on with me just because I don't like to give people that kind of news and tell them I'm sick. I don't want people to say, oh, well, we'll help you. So I almost sold this stuff in order to... Uh, help with the financial uh, problems because, you know, I just was missing so much work. Uh, I wasn't making enough money. But I'm so glad I didn't. Um, I really wanted to hang on to this stuff because I knew as soon as I was feeling better, the first thing I was going to do is, is start buying RC crap again. I mean, this thing, you know, this, this is uh, my escape goat, and uh, it's just what I really love to do, and I'm sure you guys know that with my videos. So, uh, yeah, basically here is everything. Um, the engines, I got to tear them apart and inspect them. They've been sitting with fuel in them probably, and, and I know the engines are gummed up, so I'm going to have to change the bearings in the engines anyway. I was going to do that regardless. Um, but I got to, I mean, I literally have to start over and go through everything and see what I'm going to need. So it is going to take me quite some time. Once I start get parts coming in, of course, after I get money coming in, um, I'll start doing some videos of, uh, I guess, a complete rebuild of the cars, get them as close to new as possible. I mean, I don't just need, you know, 
I need a lot of spare parts. I need a lot of everything before I even go ahead and uh, start tearing it down. Uh, there's some things that I know that they're going to need. And there's some things that I don't know that it's going to need. So uh, the things that I know it's going to need, I'm going to get them first. Then tear it down and get into the little nitty gritty stuff like your hinge pins and suspension arms and, uh, you know, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I definitely got to get, I mean, the Truggy, <laughs> I had a bad race day. Not alone, not feeling good, but I had a bad race day. The Truggy broke um, Oops. the uh, shock cup let go off the threads of the uh, of the end of the shock which is kinda common for the low C's um, you can glue them in I think I've talked about that before I don't know I have to go back through my videos and see what I talked about <laughs> but yeah that broke this buggy servo went out so I know I got a DNF in my last truggy race and uh, I think I got a DNF in my last uh, buggy race too so I didn't get any trophies, anything this year. The competition was stiff, but I wasn't healthy, and I wasn't able to uh, keep up with everybody just because I wasn't feeling all that great. Um, <clears throat> you know, I'm still kind of sick right now, but I'm just getting over a cold. So, uh, yeah, I'm still here, guys. I'm still alive. I'm still kicking. I still want to make videos. So if you guys have any questions at all about anything, I'm still always willing to help. Um, even if you don't see videos from me, find one of my videos, shoot a comment. They go directly to my email and I get a notification. I usually check my email every day. And uh, I know I haven't heard from a lot of you guys. I hope you guys weren't mad. Um, I do apologize for this. I want this channel to grow and I want it to go somewhere. Um, I'm going to have to think of some things to... Uh, you know, to keep you guys interested, and uh, we'll just see what happens from there. So, I got to come up with a few topics. Like I said, I'll go through and rebuild the cars. Um, I can show you how to degum an engine. Um, of course, if it isn't too bad, if the crankshafts and stuff are really rusty, I'm going to have to do a lot of replacing. Um, and if it gets to the point to where I'm only within a few dollars of getting a new engine. I'm just going to have to go ahead and get another new engine. Um, I think you guys know me anyway. Normally, I uh, buy a new engine before every season, whether they need to be replaced or not. I just love to start a new season out with a brand new engine. Be in this case, these engines are barely even broken in, to believe it or not, because I, I didn't race that much this year. So I'm going to go ahead and try to save these engines and use them for one more season. Because I'm going to need so much other stuff, I don't think I can cover the cost of uh, new engines, new batteries, you know, basically a whole, you know, anything that keeps these things moving is going to have to be replaced as far as the electronics and engines go possibly. So we'll determine that when I start tearing at it. Um, it's probably going to be sometime after Christmas and New Year's. Um, but I promise you guys I'll be making more videos. I'm just really glad that I am I was able to keep my stuff and... Uh, you know uh, keep going forward with this so like I said if you guys have any questions at all please uh, please shoot me an answer in the comments sections I, I, I'm honestly not looking for any sympathy um, there's a dear friend of mine on YouTube that he's going through some issues right now um, his wife actually has uh, has some type of a rare form of leukemia and uh, you know <laughs> some people just have it a lot worse off than you so I'm not looking for any type of sympathy um, you know, this guy on, uh, on YouTube, uh, he's a really good friend of mine and, uh, actually Matthew Discovery and I were discussing some issues about, um, getting together with you guys. I'm going to do this in another video, but, um, we have these stickers here for, uh, leukemia and, uh, what we want to do is make this kind of like the ALS ice bucket challenge, um, if you guys want some stickers, um, I'm going to do this in another video though, but if you guys want some stickers to put on your cars, we're going to give away like probably 10 stickers a piece to each, uh, each of the subscribers until they're gone. But if you guys want one, the deal is going to have to be like the ALS ice bucket challenge. You're not going to have to pour cold ice over yourself, but um, you'll have to make a video. If you want these, that means you're going to agree to make a video of, of putting a sticker um, on your vehicle and then either saying in my comment section or uh, 
this YouTuber's name is uh, the Nitro RC Nerds. I know you guys are real, real familiar with him. Um, he, he gave me the, I talked to him over email, and this was months ago, that he said, you know, if you want to tell everybody, go right ahead. So with his blessing, I'm doing this, and this is just our way of showing that he has tons of support um, from all our subscribers and that this RC community is nothing but one big family. So um, it's the least we can do. He's not looking for any type of sympathy like I was or any type of financial help, which I totally understand. Um, so like I said, the least we can do for the guy is give away some stickers, and uh, if you guys want them, You'll have to uh, email me or I can exchange email information through the comments section or however you want to do it. If you want to email me, my email is still life at gmail.com. And uh, if you want 10 stickers, I can ship them to you. But like I said, you're going to have to agree to make a video and saying, hey, John, you know, we care about you, whatever it is. I'm putting this sticker on my car for you and your wife. So, um... Let's go ahead and do that. Um, don't start sending me anything until after the new year because I'm not going to have time. Um, I want to make sure I'm feeling good, but I wanted to get this video out there. So, um, yeah, let's get started on doing that pretty soon. And um, in my next video, I will talk about this a little bit more. Um, so, if you guys, if the emails start coming in, don't start looking for anything until after the new year, okay? Um, and... It's probably going to take me a while to get through to some of the emails, so just try to bear with me. Um, and we'll go from there, but we're going to do like 10, 10 stickers for each subscriber until they're gone. And I think we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, one strip per, um, per YouTuber. And then, like I said, make a video. And when you guys make the video, you can either go to the Nitro RC Nerds channel and say, post the link of your video in his comment section or my comment section if you don't know how to post a link you can just write in the comments hey go over to my channel and check out my uh, check out my video so I appreciate it guys hopefully this uh, shows him that we support him and uh, it's been real nice talking to you guys and I will see you guys real soon thank you so much